name is Lisa Graves, and I'm the executive director of the Center for Media and Democracy. And last summer, <laughs> last summer we launched Alec Exposed because we think the American Legislative Exchange Council must be ex must be exposed. What we learned were things like this: this bill, the Shoot First bill, was brought to a closed-door meeting in Grapevine, Texas, of Alec. At that closed-door meeting politicians and corporations and private sector interests voted behind closed doors to unanimously embrace this law as a model for passage across the country. Walmart co-chaired that meeting. Walmart is a co was the co-chair of the American Legislative Exchange Council's Criminal Justice Task Force at that time, and the NRA's lead lobbyist, Marion Hammer of Florida, who helped conceive of the Florida law and push it through the State House in Florida, was there to present that bill as a model. That's not all. After that, the NRA became the co-chair of Alex's newly improved Criminal Justice and Criminal Justice, pardon me, Public Safety and Elections Task Force. Public Safety and Elections Task Force, which approved the voter ID bills that have been steaming through this country. It approved as a model SB 1070, the bills that the bill of, of, from Arizona that uh, affects immigrants as an anti-immigrant legislation. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so we know that's just part of the story. The NRA and Alec are longtime partners, but the NRA and Walmart are not the only partners of Alec. Alec is bankrolled by Coke Industries. <laughs> and many other household names which we have documented since last summer on our site, Alec Exposed and Source Watch. They include Kraft Foods, Exxon Mobil, and others. These are major corporations, major pharmaceutical companies, and others that you may purchase from. We can't hear you, Lisa. <laughs> and we love you. <laughs> All right. So uh, Alec is ba literally bankrolled by some of the biggest corporations in the United States and the world. And we think that you have a right to know, that the American people have a right to know, that it's not just that it's some sort of lobbyists from corporations that are going off to, to ask for people to vote for their bills. This is actually a case in which ALEC allows corporations and politicians to vote as equals in task force meetings at resorts across the country where, where legislators go paid by scholarships funded by corporations to go there and hobnob with those lobbyists. Now, I've been a lobbyist, and that's not the kind of lobbying I've ever seen before. And quite frankly, if the NAACP, my group, ACLU, or other groups were caught voting as equals behind closed doors with progressives or Democrats or others, there would be a huge outcry on the right. It is an outrage, because the fact is, is that our elected representatives are not representing us. They're representing these corporations, and their agenda is vast. The breadth and depth of their agenda includes not just denying justice to, to victims like Trayvon, but denying justice to Americans who are killed or injured by corporations and corporate greed and neglect, by changing the laws for Americans who are injured by corporate products. It includes dramatically reworking the rights of working Americans, attacking labor unions, attacking the rights of working people, and undermining even things like sick leave for workers. The ALEC agenda includes dramatically changing our rights involving environmental protections for our health and safety and the health and safety of our children. Alex, stop! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we launched our campaign to out the Alec corporations last year, and that's why we want to join with you and join with our partners and allies in shining an even bigger spotlight on Alec and Alec corporations that are making this agenda possible and speeding it through state, state houses across the country. Will you join us? Yeah. 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 Yeah.